It's the Memphis Sports Network. WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett Memphis. WMFS FM and HD1 Bartlett. WMFS Memphis. ESPN 790 AM and 92.9 FM ESPN. Watch the sun rise, new days going, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. This is Larry Ray. Sitting in, as I do, every Saturday morning as we uh, get closer and closer to that 16th anniversary of being on the air. And this being the uh, second Saturday of the month, that means Ron Wong is in the studio. Good morning, everybody. And it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It always is when it Ron is really here. It really is. Uh, trying to get prepared to go out of town, charge all the batteries in my camera. And your body. And my body, Is of he getting, course. Going to know, ICAST in Orlando next right. week. and so I'm, I'm kind of like this famous hiker from Memphis. Well, he's a hiker, a paddler. And, uh, getting, yeah. He's getting re-energized. He needs to get re-energized. For That's the our second half. Yeah, this is our good friend Dale Sanders, the gray beard adventurer. And he has still got, he looks nice and clean now after all the pictures <laughs> on the trail. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, and believe me, after 1,100 miles, a little bit more than halfway, I need to be re-energized. He needed to come home and see folks, and he's taking a break right here uh, as, he, as he tries to become, and not going to be tries, as he becomes the oldest man to uh, journey to on the Appalachian Trail from start to finish in the same year, in the same time frame, and he celebrated his birthday on June the 14th. Is that right? Or is That's that... correct. The Harper Spirit, the headquarters of the Conservancy. And, and he, he turned that. 21 on that day. No. Uh, no. He, tw- tw- he, well, you got to add about another uh, 60. Uh, yeah, he's 82 years old. And you know, Dale, we've been, uh, we've, we've been kind of his main uh, PR people here in Memphis for stories and been on the air. He's, you know, he's the same guy that two years ago. Paddle the Mississippi River from source to finish. It it does it seem like two years ago or ten years sure ago? It doesn't, but I know I love you guys. You're in the marketing in the Memphis area. Yeah, we've we've helped you out. He hiked the the uh, around the rim at the Grand Canyon, and now he started back in March. I started actually. I was on the trail from three April until I took a break on twenty uh, first of June. Uh, and a ten day break, and he's going to uh, hit back on the trail. Uh, uh, Saturday morning, I'm leaving this, here. To you're leaving hiking. today, so this is Saturday. You forgot you get so wound up on time. He's leaving today to get back on the trail. He'll be on the trail today as soon as he can, and you hope to be finished in when? Well, uh, my projected finish is either the last week of September, the first week in October, and if I can finish by the 10th of October, I'll be a happy camper. He will be a happy camper. Well, tell us. Let's, in our time frame here, Dale, uh, you, you talked about your weight. You got down to, I know in high school or something, you said you weighed 150 so. Uh, you got down to 131 pounds, and now you're putting a little bit more weight on. It, uh, give us an experience about 
what the, your body has taken care of you. Well, I'm back up to 146 now. I'd like to get up to about 152 before I start hiking, but I'm not going to be. I've been eating ice cream, eating everything I put my hands on. Everything you've been putting your hands on. Love That's ice it. cream. Yeah, I love ice cream. Well, it's hard to get. Well, you know, a lot of people don't understand that some, the trail does pass by certain places where, like at Harper's Ferry and things along that line, are areas uh, that, you know, really. It's a tourist boom. I mean, there's there are places you can stop and stay and, and nourish yourself. But most of the time, you're on the trail or wherever you meet people on the trail. Uh, it's been, tell us about your experience. Well, I I have met probably around a couple thousand people on the trail already. I've <laughs> passed me. out 1,600 of my uh, little decals, Graybeard Adventure decals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh it, there's a lot of people hiking, and I'm uh, the word is spread that this old man is trying to break the record uh, from 2004, and just about everybody I pass has either heard of me or said, I yell out, "Hi, Graybeard." They know about you. Yes, sir. It's really. And you've really, passed some elderly people. Ah, uh, well, yeah, there was some, but I think there's only one left in his 70s that I know about. He's he's a friend of mine, matter of fact. Yeah. So there's there's so you've you've met. You said you had a woman. With a baby or something of the well, yeah, there was there's a there's a couple that has a less than a little bit ten month old uh, child that they're carrying, and they're going to carry that baby from one end of the trail two thousand two hundred miles to the other, and that'll be the youngest person that ever you know completed on the mother's back on her mother's back, but uh, yeah. ever completed the Appalachian Trail. Wow, wow, well you're looking good, buddy. I've uh, it's good to see you. If you go to Spot Tracker, which is what I've been using to keep up with Dale, and get on Facebook with Dale, uh, he has some wonderful photographs and videos. Uh, the time he ran into the bear, I wrote about that in the paper. He had a close encounter with a bear, and I'm sure you've seen uh, what other unusual things of the, the weather. You talked about that. You have no control over the weather, so you've been in situations where it was Cold, cold sleet. Well, let me just tell you that bear uh, article really got a lot of attention. Uh, and that, and it's true too. I mean, I just I, that mother bear ran on that cliff. I, I thought she could jump off. But anyway, weather wise, I think the coldest I've ever been in my life was right at, on fourteen. I was doing a pre uh, what we call a shakedown hike uh-huh. on uh, yeah. March the fourteenth and fifteenth, yes. sixteenth, and up above Neil's Gap. I'm telling you, it was so miserable. I at least learned how to handle cold weather. You did, yeah, because you've had some the uh, some people. Uh, you got to have the right gear for this. You you got to have the right mental mind for this. That's one of the biggest problems that the hikers have, especially the younger ones. And they're most of the, I'd say eighty percent of the hikers are in their twenties, uh-huh. and they really have to keep that mental framework moving positively. And uh, I'm doing everything I can. I, I'm real upbeat on the trail. I yes. go by and I take videos. And I jump around. And I scream and I yell. <laughs> I keep them excited. And it. Uh, I've, I've been told by the a- Appalachian Trail Conservancy president that they really appreciate me uh, spreading a positive word like the, that. The El Presidente talked to you, huh? Yeah, oh, of Appalachian Trail Conservancy. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, it's hard not to miss you, Dale. You know, I mean, there's. I don't the, know why. I mean, I just an old man with a beard and, and long a ponytail, hair. And, a, and a ponytail and a nice cap up there with the Appalachian uh, Maine to uh, yeah, and, and 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 Maine to Georgia. But you're going Georgia to Maine. Yeah, that's the most popular route, Georgia. To it Maine. is, isn't it? Because yeah. you want to finish in the fall up there. You wouldn't want to really finish in the uh, and and it's you got to go uh, to the big mountain in Maine. Well, what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna start and do what they call a flip-flop now, and I'm going to start at the northernmost uh, terminus point. That's Mount Katahdin uh-huh. in Maine and hike down to where I quit, uh, where I came so off you're the coming, trail. You're... I didn't quit, where I came off the trail uh, last week, and that is Boiler Springs, Pennsylvania. When I get there, I'll have one mile left to go, and that'll be <laughs> at, in Harper's Ferry Town itself, and then I'll have that record. And and that's uh, Harper's Town is a uh, ferry is a pretty famous place too. Uh, yes, sir. yes, sir. John Brown and all the other things there uh, that have been to Harper. Again, we're talking to Dale Sanders of Bartlett, Tennessee, who uh, uh, amazing, amazing man. I know he doesn't take any credit for this, but he's uh, the, some of the things he's done, the career in the Navy. How many years in the Navy? 
Well, I had uh, 37 years with the Department of Navy, combination active and civil service. Civil service, and once held the world record for holding his breath over six minutes. Now he can't hold his mouth for less than six minutes. Shoot, <laughs> that was an underwater record. I don't want to don't try that again. But uh, you know, I don't, let's don't yeah, try I, that again. I, I, I do a lot of talking, especially on the trail. <laughs> yeah, and but but you've been able to uh, keep your health. Uh, I mean, you know, because getting sick and things like that. Uh, Eighty-two years old. Well, I can't believe it. I have. I didn't. I didn't get sick. I was on the trail three months, a little bit more than three months. I didn't get sick not one time, and I didn't. I fell a couple. Of yeah, maybe a half a dozen times, but it was what I call a soft fall. Uh-huh. I didn't. Nothing hurt. So you didn't break any bones. I can't believe bone. I haven't been injured. I'm. I just thank God that uh, I'm able to get this far without having an injury or sickness. And and no, you know, fall in a broken bone or something will end it. So oh, you got to be age, care- I'm I'm out. Yeah, and the trail itself, uh, people wonder. Well, is this a paved trail? This is. This is this is no <laughs> this is no walk in the park. <laughs> this is no walk in the park, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's lots of rocks. I mean, sometimes they just rocks, rocks. You, know, you can't see the dirt for the rocks. Yeah, and the football sized on up to car size, you got to crawl over, and uh, it's it's either it's rarer thing to see a level section of the trail, and usually I I do some posting on Facebook. When I see a level section, man, this is pretty. So I put a picture of it on Facebook. Everybody thinks that's the trail. That that is not the trail. Not, that's not not the trail. That's the exception. Well, I watched a movie here recently, Dale, called Everest, and it showed these these. It's a true story about these people climbing Mount Everest, and what they went through to go to Mount Everest. And I would say those people are nuts, you know, uh, to try this. But there's something about the experience. Yeah, it just the adrenaline just gets in your this system. This is your Mount Everest, Dale. That's right. That's exactly. No question about it. I mean, because I've seen uh, uh, at these age, and all those people were a lot younger than what you are. Pe- about 4,000 people started uh, the AT, and only about probably seven or 800 of that 4,000 will finish. Really? That less? That, 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 that will, fewer? Yeah. And, and you're pumping along at, at 82 and is this it? I mean, Dale, the, once you do this, I, I don't know what's, uh, I, I see other things. I, I know your wife, Miriam, doesn't want to hear this or something, but uh, you have an, ex- I'm glad you posted her picture too, Dale, uh, because uh, she's got to be understanding it because you did, you backpacked around the world, right? Yeah, with her. Yeah, with her. Back, well, in, like, back in 1982, 83, like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, backpacked with her around the world, but uh, these things just come to you. So you got to be mentally focused right now. You got to eat. You know, you, yeah. you got to keep your calories up. You got to. You know what's ahead of you. So, is there a portion of this thing that you dread the most? Is there one thing that you're saying I got to get to? Yeah, White Mountains. <laughs> that is it, isn't it? New Hampshire. If I can get through the White Mountains, uh, matter of fact, my I'm going to pass through there uh, Saturday, and if, if the weather's good, I just might hike over Mount Washington that 24 miles and get it done. Up Maine, get it out of the way. Get it out of the, the way. The problem is catching the weather good. The weather, yeah, because it's unpredictable. It, uh, uh, but, it it creates its own weather pattern, and the strongest wind recorded on Earth was recorded at the top of Mount Washington in New Hampshire. It's just it's just horrendous wind most so of the time. So how uh, how how close do you go to Mount Washington? Do you go right un- around it, or how does that work? No, I go right over the top of it. You go right over the top of Mount Washington? Yeah. Did y'all hear that? All right, we're going to take a break. I'm going to keep Dale over for a few minutes more on the second break. Then Ron and I will close it out. Uh, you can stay around for a few minutes, can't you, Dale? We don't want to wear you out, you know. He's ready wanna... to go eat some more ice cream. He, he's going over the top of Mount Washington. Goodness gracious. Let's take a break. Be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. You can find out. 